Hey guys, I'm going to use this mirror here to help you with that Hogan's power move, okay? So, nothing kinky. <laughs> so you're going to get in your posture, and then you're going to back yourself up against uh, a window, either your patio window or uh, a, a, a smooth wall. And try to use a club, you know, no more than 22 inches long. Something that's uh, like a, you could take a, a little dowel or something like that, put in your hands. And so you'll notice what we're going to do now, imagine you've got um, a handkerchief hanging out of each back pocket, okay? In the back swing, you're going to wipe the window with your right back pocket toward the target. So you notice how my right hip is moving along the window towards the target. This forces my left hip to go back and you notice how it forces the left knee to come in and that in turn, the domino effect, will you want the left foot to roll in as well. So the left foot rolls in. Now you'll notice that my right knee didn't straighten up. If it straightens up, you'll feel like you've lost pressure against that window. So you're using the, the right leg and the right knee to apply some nice pressure to the window. Now this is where it's not the tricky part, this is the key part. Once you've achieved this backswing, your right back pocket remains in place and it will force the left side back to the window. So your left side returns to the window without the right side moving. Okay, so you notice what happened to my legs. Now, my left leg is vertical, my right leg is a lot more diagonal. You notice how my right foot is starting to roll a little bit. Key point here is to keep the head back. Do not, at first, you'll feel like your head's going to do this. Well, now you're in a very precarious position. You'll be coming down on a very steep angle of attack. So it's turn, connect, and then on the, left, on the way through, as you swing your arms through from here, Right, I got this nice big pocket in front of me here in order to hit the ball. So from here, the left back pocket is going to wipe the window in the opposite direction. So it's wipe, connect, wipe. Wipe, connect, wipe. Okay? Another advantage to this, I'm going to show you from a different angle. Come on over here, guys. <laughs> so from this angle here, posture, back up, wipe, connect, wipe. See how everything stays with the window until my head comes up, and that's where my right hip will come off the window. So what you don't want is once you finish the back swing, you don't want the right side to fall forward to where the left side is. You always want the left side coming back to where your right side is. That's why Hogan said he started his downswing by turning his left hip. So what's important is that you hold your ground. If you turn your left hip, but you lose that position with your right hip the right back pocket, now you're spinning out and you'll end up lunging at the ball. See the difference? Now I can swing through that golf ball. This is what's going to give you a very powerful move through that golf ball and have something very solid to hit against. Okay? So I hope that was helpful. Hogan's power move.